Hello everybody and welcome back for one last installment of my Judgment V2 painting video. Well, this one's less about the painting aspect and more about finishing it up. I managed to finish up our project tonight and I wanted to take a quick retrospective of the models that I've painted and talk about what's coming up for Judgment. So what we've been doing over the past few weeks has been painting the Judgment version 2 starter box plus three of the additional creature caster demons which will be joining the lineup. So let's talk about each one of them individually and show you the final results of my work. Here is a picture of the whole thing. And as you can see, it's uh, it's quite a bit of stuff. We have 11 champions, two tokens, three skeleton summons all together. Uh, the three demons, Ankura, Eshel, and Kane, are not included in the V2 starter box, but the rest are. Those will be coming to the next wave of Kickstarters for Judgment coming soon. Uh, you can check that out on the Creature Caster site, and that'll be linked below. Zaren Bogdan's been one of my favorite figures since the beginning of Judgment, so it's been a uh, real treat being able to paint him again. A lot of the detail is still in his armor and his garb. He's not just wearing a robe as a necromancer, he's kind of wearing actual armor, and that's carried over into V2. Glad he looks pretty similar, but a little bit more animated this time. He also comes with three skeleton summons in the starter box which are kind of around him, in front of him, with two kind of rising up from his base. This one was pretty fun. Gloom is an interesting one. She's the Shadowhound NPC, kind of du jour of Judgment, and I decided to go with a very kind of pale fur with a purple mane on her this time. She looks a lot more intimidating and I actually really, really enjoyed this one over the B1 model, so this one is definitely an improvement. Brock was a mini I didn't get a chance to paint in version 1 and I'm actually pretty happy that I got a chance to paint him in V2. He does come with an alternate trophy to be stepping on, a skull instead of a freshly decapitated gloom head, and he looks a lot more aggressive this time around. Uh, the mohawk on top is optional. Saiyan also received a pretty impressive redesign this time around, and this is the first time I've actually had a chance to paint her. I found her a little bit intimidating. There's a lot of detail going on, and I'm not sure I did a great job on this one, but uh, hopefully the, uh, the client enjoys it. And she does look really dynamic. I actually really enjoy the soul coming out of the base. Kane was a new model for me from the Creature Caster line. And I thought I might not enjoy this one, but I actually had a really good time painting out all of the skulls in a kind of cooler opposing tone to that hot red skin. So I went for kind of a traditional Demon of Onslaught look and had a good time with it. I was particularly excited to get a chance to paint Skull this time around, and his model is pretty damn fun. Not gonna lie, lots of good little bits on him, lots of ways to take this particular character. I decided to go for a more earth tone sort of look and with a bit of a cave base and had a good time with most of it. Used a lot of shades and a lot of leathers. Rikira I actually found I didn't like the new pose as much as I liked the old, very dynamic kind of jumping down pose that he had, but I did bring in some of the same kind of tones and colors I used on my previous work here, just because I found them pretty fun, and I think I got a lot of success out of it. Donnie's always been one of my favorite characters from Judgment, and he's got a slight name change this time around, and I also got to do a few different things with him. 
make him a little bit more earthy in this version and I think he came out pretty uh, pretty banging for a tabletop quality mini. That shell was of particular interest when I saw that I'd be painting him and I had already seen the cremator before from Creature Caster's releases so I decided to go for a very stylized lighting situation on this one and this is actually took a lot less time than it may appear so I'm pretty happy with the result on this especially since I should be able to replicate this on another model just as easily. And finally we painted Ankura. This is one of the new demon atriarchs of Unity and was a pretty fun mini to paint overall. I really like the mushrooms on the base, the big bell, and the almost fairy-like wings that Ankura has here. So overall, after painting all of the starter box and a few extra Creature Caster minis, I'm pretty happy with the next offering of Judgment. Although I'll be missing the 54mm scale as a standard, looks like they'll be doing a few things in 54mm as well as offering a cheaper alternative in PVC for the starter box. So here is hoping for great and glorious things for this game as they move on into the future and redesigning their figures with a great new partner. Um, this has been a blast painting this. It's been a rush. There's been a lot of things that have come up. There's been a five-day migraine in the middle of this project, but I'm really happy to get this done. I'm really happy to get it packed up and shift off, shipped off to its final home. So thank you again for joining me this week on YouTube, and I will see you again next week.